Hello everyone, this is Golden Oratero. I'm here with another pick a card. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I'm fine, I'm just living my best life. And I was just thinking to myself, like I really miss my people. So I wanna do another pick a card from y'all and I'd love to see you guys in the comment. Make sure that in the comment section and make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys so much and I hope you are out there living your best life. Let's get into the pal section, okay? So pal one is going to be the seahorse. Pal two is going to be the rose. And pal three is going to be the trombone. I think this is the trombone, okay? So pal one, pal two, and pal three. You can pause this, okay, if you need more time. And let's get into pal one. Hello, Pal One. This is for you. Um, we're going to do at least 20 seconds of just channeling, and then we're going to get into the um, cards. Um, channeling means I'm just sitting here and having the information downloaded to me from source, and then I use the cards to interpret what I downloaded from source, okay? Um, anywho, um, I see you guys being more kid-like, child-like. Really tending to your inner child, you might have um, chances or opportunities to interact with children. Um, children might be a big theme in the month of May. Um, there could be a huge importance about your kids in May. Um, I say your kids. So some of y'all watching could have children. You guys could be preparing for your kids to go on summer break. Or I hear some of your kids could be going through like a musical school or um, like at like summer school activity, like getting them into summer camp or something like that. Some of y'all who take your kids to public school, some y'all can be, some of y'all can be considering, um, um, like, um, getting a tutor for their, for their, um, academics or homeschooling them. So those who don't have kids, y'all might have more time with your nieces and nephews, um, your young cousins. I see children gravitating to you in the month of May, uh, Pow One. Or you, there could be some money made when it comes to children. So this could be babysitting. Um, this can be working at a, a um, like y'all could be hired where if children come to play like Sky Zone, right? A lot of kids love to go to Sky Zone, which is like a trampoline park, right? You could be working over there, a place like it, or you could be working at an amusement park or going to an amusement park. It's just mainly like tending to your childhood desires. Whatever you love to enjoy as a kid, I see you guys really get into that. So as a kid, you love roller coasters. I see you guys riding on roller coasters like crazy throughout all over me. Or if you're a kid and you, you like to do karate, you guys could be getting in back into karate, okay? But let's get into the cards and see what... Um, they say, um, God, oh, Father, Father, God, please protect me as I'm using these um, tarot cards. May the messages be uh, clear, concise, and accurate for a power one. Okay, y'all, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Many people are going to watch this. Let's get into it. Yeah, y'all outside. Okay, water parks, amusement parks, going to parks. I, I'm, I just heard picnic at parks. You guys could be doing a picnic at your local park. You guys could be traveling to meet other people at a park. You guys could be going to nature trails, climbing um, mountains, how, hiking, camping, a lot of out, outdoor activities. There's not really much sitting around at your house in the month of May. If you're a homebody, you might find yourself kind of getting out of your comfort zone and being around people more often, socializing more often. I heard some of y'all could have taken a break on social media. You guys could be getting back on social media. Um, there could be someone flirting with you. <laughs> through social media. I just got that out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, some of y'all could be suspecting that the current person that you're talking to, I hate to bring this news up, but it's it's for somebody. Um, some of y'all could be suspecting that your current partner or your ex-partner that you're trying to get back with could be messaging or trying to get with someone that they have met online, okay? I'm not saying that they actually are doing it, but some of y'all could be suspecting it. 
And then also the Knight of Swords here. Some of y'all might want to go off on somebody in May, y'all. <laughs> like, I heard it, it's the last straw. It's the last straw. There could be something that irritated you in the month of June, and you just had it in the month of May, okay? It's like a very elongated problem, you know? It's kind of one of those petty issues that it's like, okay, leave it in June. Don't bring it in May. If you bring it up in May, I'm about to, like, fight your head off, okay? It says pile one. Okay, someone keeps bringing up old stuff, very old shit, for real. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the reverse. Y'all watch out for someone who's kind of like always bringing up old stuff, okay? Like you're trying to move forward in life. You're trying to live your best life. You're trying to add on to you. There could be someone who's kind of um, childish, okay, in the month of May, okay? Someone can be a little bit childish in the month of May, okay? Some y'all could be like doing like exercising. Some y'all might start to commit to exercise. Okay, it's never too late to get your hot summer body. Okay, <laughs> all right. I know, like in, in the United States, it's basically like summer. So, yeah, I see y'all do a lot of strength training, cardio workouts. Okay. But yeah, some of y'all might be having your, your guards up. Okay, having your guards up with someone with the nine of um wands here. Okay. Yeah, something about someone's pissing you off. And some of y'all might have to make a decision about this issue or problem that's been kind of nagging at you for a couple of months now. And it's kind of like I just heard battle of the ego. So some of y'all could be like constantly like arguing with someone and y'all are not really arguing to solve the issue. Y'all just arguing out of ego. Like it's kind of, it's kind of one of those arguments that has no solution. You know, it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of one of, it's kind of one of those things that you keep arguing and you don't know what you're arguing about. It's kind of one of those arguments. Like how long are we going to keep arguing about this? You know, it's kind of like an irritant. However, other than that, there's some really good things coming in your life with this. Um, let me see if I can turn this down a bit. Yeah, with the sun card. I see some really good things happening for you. So don't let this argument or tension with this person um, damper your life. You know, still have a good time. If there's a dream and goal that you could have low-key given up on, like you thought like it was never going to happen for you, like the moment that you least expect it, it will come to you in the month of May, wherever that is, okay? But I do see someone having suspicion about someone, like feeling like you can't trust someone in the month of May, okay? I heard cheaters will be cheaters. Boys will be boys. Um, you could be like trying to um, consult with someone and they might be the type of people who enable men with their, with their BS. Okay, not all men are, are you know, um, F, F boys, but you see what I'm saying. Like if, if a guy is doing F boy behavior, there could be a friend that when you consult with this friend, they tend to kind of like... Um, make you feel like you are overreacting you're not overreacting pal one i don't think so i just think there's a lack of communication or when or when you and this person communicates it's just you have two different styles of communicating and it makes you guys clash give me one second yeah so I think something to work on in May is how you communicate, you know, really ask yourself, like, are you speaking from the place? Oops, are you speaking from a place of your heart or are you speaking from a place of ego? You know what I mean? Like, are you are you hearing your person or are you actually listening to your person? All right. Or vice versa. They, they need to kind of, you know, have a self analysis on how to communicate. It's something about communication that y'all need to work on. OK, with you and your partner. Also, here there could be someone that 
Oh, I hate these messages. Man, if someone would have told me this, I would have been a little bit like irritated. There's someone who have ghosted you and I see them want to kind of like be on your good side. Like they want to come back and talk to you. So if someone has ghosted you, stop talking to you, just do not reply. Y'all might have a random ass per like person that you could have forgotten or they recently ghost you and they're coming back and say, hey, what's good? And they might want to try to like rekindle the passion. That's really up to you, um, pal one. This person has a child. For some of y'all, this person who wants to rekindle, they have kids. I heard this person, if that, if that does um, resonate with you, that the person that could be coming back has kids, the grandmother on this person's family, there's, there's a grandmother. Some of y'all could have met this person's grandmother. I heard long lineage. Like this person has a big family or people in this person's family tends to live a long time. And there's a family member that keeps bringing you up. <laughs> Every time your person that stops talking to you visits their house. Like house pile one, this person's like, man, she keeps asking about how once is, I don't know that the lady is giving me grandmother figure and the grandmother is talking to the person like, okay, so when are you going to get married? And I really like this person. I mean, they put a little bit of pressure on your person, um, pal one. Yeah. Her big family. So the family tends to kind of put pressure on your person to have a family, start a family, be a family. Um, Interesting. This could be you or this could be somebody else. Yeah, her is no good having a single parent home. Like, this person hears that conversation a lot. Okay. And this person does have feelings for you, but it could be childish in a way. Okay, last predictions for Pal um, one Page of Swords. Some of y'all could be going to school. Okay. Some of y'all could be starting school or classes. Some of y'all could be studying in the month of May, hardcore studying in the month of May. Um, some of y'all could like go through your last final exam or like a big exam is coming up. Okay. All right. So, pal one, this is your um, May predictions. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know how you feel about this reading in the comment section below. Um, as of right now, I, I am still doing personal readings. You can book one if you wish. Um, as of right now, temporarily, I do a 10 minute uh, pre recorded re reading for like $11. Yeah. So, check that out. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Bye. Hello, pal two. Welcome to your pal. If you have chose the rose, this is for you. Okay. So basically, I'm automatically getting, okay, and go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel and also comment below what you think about this reading as well. Okay. So I'm automatically getting, right, that May is going to be the month where you are tapping into your fullest potential. You're going to be tapping into your power and in a way that's quite graceful. Okay. Um, not in a way where it's like power hungry or not in a way that you should like stepping on people's toes is a very calm, cool, collective type of power that you will be tapping into pal to. I'm just channeling right now. Of course, I'm, go I'm going to be getting to the cards because it's a tarot channel. But every now and then, y'all, sometimes I don't use my tarot cards because, yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> I switch it up on y'all, you know, switch it up. But anyway, um. Anyway, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but I'm definitely getting like power. Um, whoa, I just, man, I'm so intoxicated of all the power that I feel from Pal 2's collective. Like, wow, very powerful people here. I'm going to start out with this deck. This is the Light Sears deck. Some of you guys have kind of felt a little bit off. A little bit like not your typical self. And that tends to happen 
when you, you are going through a transition of life, okay, going through another phase, going through another cycle in life. You guys could be phasing out an old cycle, moving into a new cycle. And when you're going from phase one to phase two or from this cycle to that cycle, you're going to go through a personality change. You're going to go through um, changes of, of mindset, the way you think. You want to go maybe even changes in wardrobe, changes in how you present yourself to other people, changes in how you eat, changes in how you be intimate with other people. You guys are going through a huge, prolific transformation, a mental, emotional, psychic, social, and financial transformation, okay? It's a very huge transformation, okay? You guys are going to be changing so much that maybe even your whole friend circle is changing, okay? Whew. Pile twos. Predictions. Collective pile two predictions. Thank you so much, God, and the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Whew. Eight of Pentacles, baby. You guys go are going to put in the work in to manifest okay she's at a desk working on her projects there we go the lighting is kind of weird but <laughs> you guys could feel weird okay like different like you know you can tell that a change is coming into your life you know you guys can be very intuitive very psychic okay you have the king of swords here. Ooh, as you're focusing on your projects, as you're focusing on your goals, what y'all don't see is someone who has their eye on you in the month of May. Okay. I didn't think this is going to be a love reading. And I heard they don't want nobody else with this five of wands in the reverse. Okay. Then I want nobody else. But you. Why I'm here hungry like the wolf, the song. <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing that song. Y'all could be going through uh, something that, a phase in life that might feel like a stagnation. Like maybe not much in your external world is happening, but a lot in your eternal world is happening, okay? You can feel the changes within you, and sometimes it might take a while from all the changes to happen internally first, so your, your external world can change. So be patient with yourself, be patient where you are in life, enjoy life where you are now. Just know that through God or through higher power, through whatever entities that you work with, they will always place you in the right place that you need to be, okay? Some of y'all think y'all should be farther than where you at right now. Be patient with yourself. Keep working at it, whatever project it is, whether you whether it's trying to lose a certain weight or whether it's a goal or project. Be patient with yourself and keep going at it. You'll get there, okay? Um, God's timing, I just heard. God's timing. Divine timing. Okay. No rush, okay? All good things take time, for real, for real. Take this and take this. Whew, lover's card in the reverse. <sighs> okay. It's not really a bad card. Hear me out. There are people that are very attracted to you pal too but you don't see them because you're so focused on healing you're so focused on growth you're so focused on progression you're so focused on self-evolution you're so focused on transformation you're so focused on manifestation that you don't really see the people that are attracted to you that want to be with you that want to be friends with you you're so focused and uh, i remember i i talked to a second one day and she said like, you're, you're you attract a lot of people but you're so focused that you don't see those people and sometimes they think that you're not interested so she says just widen up your perspective and and you know look up every once in a while and, and see um who's into you who has interest in you okay um so 
just because you're so focused doesn't mean you don't have time to flirt at least or you know what I mean like exchange conversation at least it don't got to be you know a full commitment you know because who knows where that'll take you you know some of y'all might want to write off a person or you know kick them to the curb immediately like no I'm too focused I, I don't have time for relationships but who knows this person could be a cool person they might not be your forever but you know you might enjoy this person and meanwhile and get to know this person this could be a long good friend this had to be a romantic thing you know what I mean this could be a good business opportunity you know like I, I, I'm, I'm basically getting like um uh, 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 y'all heard that? <laughs> I don't know what was what was that. Anyway, in the month of May, <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. In the month of May, it's all about the self. Me, 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 me. I. I want to work on me. I want to work with only myself. I want to be by myself. I, you know, y'all don't mind isolation the month of, of of May to get yourself right. I get, I got it. You're trying to get your shit together. You're trying to get yourself together. You're trying to get your life in order. Awesome. But you know, clue with other people. You know, like don't be so isolated that you don't nurture your social instincts like humans we are socially wired you know you know what i mean like we we're made to socialize with amongst each other you know what i mean so it's like when you isolate yourself and people too much don't be surprised by the time you get back out there you're socially awkward and listen a lot of people like me who are gifted we're socially awkward anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to come in terms with that. Like that's just who I am. You know what I mean? Um, interesting. Yeah, some of y'all could be ignoring someone that is really interested in you, um, pal. Too, but you're so focused on yourself, which is cool, which is awesome. You know, you're taking care of yourself. You're investing in yourself. That's beautiful. But at the same time, enjoy life for other people because you never know they can add on to the growth that you're already doing on yourself by yourself you know what i mean like as you're working on yourself by yourself include people that will also add on to your efforts you know what i mean like for example if you're working on your mental health right don't be afraid to seek medical counsel don't be afraid to seek psychiatrists psychologists don't be afraid to talk to someone who has a counselor or a mental health profession all right. If you're trying to work on your physical health and you're trying to develop a workout plan, don't be afraid to ask people to work out with. If you're trying to um, improve on your business, don't be afraid to consult with business advisors. If you're trying to have a little bit more fun, don't be afraid to invite people to have fun with you. Use your discernment, of course, talk to people that have uh, good vibing energy and, 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 you know, only care for your best interests. They're not someone who's plan against you, you know what I mean, of course. But you know, life is meant to be experienced with others. And that's something that I had to learn because I'm a natural introvert. But like I've met some cool people in this lifetime. And I'm really glad that I have met them. If I was a person who really kept indoors all the time, like I usually do sometimes, I would have never met them. So what I'm saying is don't miss meeting good people that can add on to your life. Okay. So be a little bit open, hanging out with people, you know, chilling with folk. You don't really have to be dating. Cause I'm getting into like, y'all don't want to date. If, if y'all do want to date, yeah, cool. But for, for the book of y'all, I see y'all just really want to work on yourself, which is amazing. But it's, y'all know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Woo. That was a lot. That was, that was a lot. All right, I'm almost off my soapbox. Let me pull out other cards, okay? <sighs> yeah, defiance. I see y'all rolling your eyes at people who try to flirt with you or y'all might not even reply to a dude's or girl's text and they're trying to holler at you. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? You might read people's messages in your DMs but don't even reply back. Hey, okay. wow. Because y'all looking good. See, all that working on yourself got you having a glow. And people see that glow. And they want to talk to you. They hang out with you. They want to befriend you. They want to date you. You know what I mean? And maybe you guys have a chat that flies. You know? And not everyone that you meet is a fly. Some of these people that you're going to meet are 
heaven sent. But how are you going to meet these people if you're always in closed doors and don't reply to people's texts or, or invites? You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying, right? Strength. Look at her face. Does it look like she wants to be invited to a party? Does it look like she wants to <laughs> take on someone's offer if they were to ask her out on a date? Y'all could be very intimidating to people in the month of May, y'all. Peace. Yeah, I get it. Like You guys want inner peace. Y'all all about protecting your peace in the month of May. But don't be so overprotective that you push really good people away, y'all. So just kind of keep that in mind because... The reason why I'm saying this is because you have the strength card with the peace card. So that lets me know that you're doing all that you can to protect your peace. Y'all could have had like a breach in your sense of peace before and you're trying to repair that. Awesome. But at the same time, there, I, I really feel like there's some good. Yeah, some of y'all are too prideful. Just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Rebellion. Yeah, y'all could have y'all could have been like the the um black sheep. Like y'all don't have to hang out with people. You don't have to get to know other people. F people. I just be by myself. There's some good people out here, pal. <laughs> pal too. All right. I love you guys. That's all I have for y'all in this video. Go ahead and comment below what you feel or think about this video. Like this video and subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, pal three, if you have chosen the trombone, this is for you. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you're new here, welcome, and comment below what you think about this video. Let's get into it, starting out with the Hip Hop Queens deck. The reason why I want to start out with the Hip Hop Queens deck, because look at this, look at this. Look what she's holding. Okay? Like a horn. That caught my attention, right? And this looks like a horn instrument, right? So I figured, like, let's use this deck for power three, okay? Hmm. Some of y'all could be magic. What? <laughs> Some of y'all could play instruments. <laughs> All right. Some of y'all would like to learn how to play instruments. Some of y'all might discover a new genre of music in May. Some of y'all could be going to concerts. Okay. The, uh, okay. I'm, I'm getting the, the Essence Fest. I'm getting um, Coachella. I'm getting all these other fucking, uh, what is it, a lot of Palooza? All the major music concerts. Some of y'all could be going overseas to a uh, concert. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> y'all, consider yourselves lucky in the month of uh, May, Power 3. I see a lot of um, luck for y'all. We have Defense. We have uh, Potential. Mm. And hustle. Pal three. Y'all know that you are a person that's going to make it big. Like you're meant to be at the top of the mountain. You're meant to achieve a lot in this lifetime. And you will do whatever it takes. I'm getting like a five of wands energy. You will do whatever it takes. You are now you are now late. You will <laughs> bully anyone that's in your way of your success. And that's how determined you are in the month of May. Okay, I'm just challenging right now. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Multiple people are going to be watching this, okay? So take what resonates and throw the rest for someone else to catch, okay? Um, so we're going to channel a little bit. I'm at 5%. We're going to make this quick. And then we're going to, <laughs> I just got the 5% notification on my phone. And we're going to be um, getting into the cards, okay? So let's go. So yeah, y'all about your money. Y'all about your paper, okay? Y'all not playing. Y'all want the coin. It says power three, like, 
All right. <laughs> Y'all could be also like about to get into a lot of money in the month of May because look at look two of these people they balling with chains around their neck. Okay, you got to see the girls with money throwing up in the air. Some of y'all might be like living large, okay? Or people from the outside looking into your life, they think that you live in large, okay? Y'all could be hanging out with the rich folks I heard or like y'all status quo is like changed. I used to be maybe middle class and now y'all might be like middle high class or high class. Like y'all could be like taking expensive trips or Yo, who is this? Y'all could be traveling all over the world. <laughs> Y'all could be um, booking five out of five star hotels. Uh, wow. Wow. Um, Y'all could be, you know, signing up for a high mile club. Y'all could be signing up for a black card. Um, Y'all could be tapping into a lot of money. I don't know who this is, but what... Who, Someone won the lottery. Like, what is this? Um, <laughs> Y'all could be getting a lot of bookings for your services if you're an entrepreneur. Um, I heard it takes only one person to give a good review. They could be someone who's highly known, who is rich, who wants to support your small business if you're an entrepreneur. This person sees your potential and they want to add you to the team. Like, like Y'all could have just uh, recently got hired. OK, some of y'all could have um, start your job, a new job in the month of May or promote it in the month of May. Like people want you. They want your services. They want your gifts, your talents. If you don't have a business, I do see people from the outside of you, other people encouraging you to start your own business, because whatever you have to provide, people want it. People need it. People love it. And, you know, it's time for you to sign up for the LLC. It's time for you to sign up for that soul P. There's something about you that you can really make an additional stream of income. If you work at nine to five, I do see you kind of gathering another stream of, of income for yourself. Let me check my phone, y'all. Lord Jesus, we got 4%. Let's go. So basically, I do. it's kind of interesting because it's almost like it's kind of giving me like rush hour. Okay. Have y'all ever um, seen that movie with Jackie Chan, Rush Hour? Like, like they only got a certain amount of time to like rush to get a job done. Okay. It's almost like pushing through, like you're, you're in the final stages of your project. You're in the final phases of signing off to, for your, for a new home. Um, you, you, you're on your last interview for this new job. It's something like you're so fucking close. You're so close. Keep going. Keep keep pushing. Please keep posting on YouTube. Do not give up because you're so close to making it big. I don't know who I'm talking to. You may have been practicing for a long time, studying for a long time, posting on YouTube for a long time, posting on social media for a long time, having so many interviews at the interviews at the interview, haven't got hired yet. You have put so many plates, you know, hoping that one day there's a person who will recognize how good you can cook. You've been doing this for so long over and over and over. And over. There's going to be a day for you. I'm telling you. It's going to be that that one post that you make, that one video that you create on YouTube. It's going to be that one customer that eats your food and loves it. It's going to be one customer that's like, oh, my God, let me tell my whole family. Let me tell the whole community. Let me go. On. Like This person has to support you to have a huge following. It takes only one person, and everyone's going to hear how great you are. Um, someone's going to put you in the pedestal for other people to see um, Power 3. I haven't even gotten to the cars yet. I'm challenging. I love this energy, Power 3. Y'all just Y'all effing deserve it. I'm really proud of you. Just do not give up because you're so much. You, oh, my God. Like, you're so close. You are so close, Power 3. L look at me. Look at me. You're so close. Do not give up. Don't let me jump through this phone and whoop your ass if you think about giving up. Yeah, keep going because you about to you about to succeed, pal. I'm serious. Like I hear someone laughing at me, but I'm like dead ass. Like don't 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 let the spirits tell me that you don't give up when you're so effing close. Keep going. Keep being persistent, pal. Three. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. One more card. My my window is 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 um open, so you could hear someone's car. My bad. Y'all, what's my percentage? Oh, we got one percent. One more card, y'all. And, and I'm out here. I'm out here. Okay. 
Keep going, power for you. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to effing know. That's it. That's all you need to know. Fight. Keep. Listen. Keep going. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care what obstacles you're going through. Keep going, Power 3. We also have mystery. I get it. You don't know when it's going to happen for you, but you know what's going to happen for you. So keep going, period. The message is just keep going, bro. Keep going, bro. Period. Period. Knowledge. People will pay for your knowledge. People will be like, Power 3, how did you do it? Hello, Power Free. I'm back again. Oh my gosh, you see that? You see that? I came back to finish your pal. I did not give up. And that's basically for you right there. You know, if something could have failed, if something came to an end, if, if you've been trying again and again, do not give up. I heard your time is near. Do not give up. Some of y'all can be locticians, hairstylists, uh, braiders. Because I just saw someone getting their locks retwisted. Or some of y'all are getting starter locks. Or you could be someone who specializes in starter locks. Um, and someone's, someone's, trying, yeah, someone's trying to start some locks. Someone wants to lock their hair up. Okay. I need to go to bed. Okay, let's complete this. <laughs> let's complete this. <laughs> Yo, even I'm listen. I'm tired too, Power Three, but I came back on here. Because I didn't want to give up. I want to see this to the completion. I want to see this to the end. You feel me? You feel me? Because it's like y'all tired of trying. You tired. Yeah. Look at this. I'm going to end this right here. Ten of Pentacles. Your Ten of Pentacles is coming. This can be in regards to like financial wealth. You know what I mean? So, pal, did I say pal too? Maybe you guys should, I don't know. Did I? Some of y'all might need to look at pal too. But anyway, I see you guys later. I love you guys. Go ahead and like the video if you have not done it yet. Subscribe if you're new here and comment below what you think. Love you guys. Bye.